Can you build a backyard rink without using a big, ugly, plastic rink liner? Well, it turns out you can, and I'm going to show you how right now. So in the last video in this series, you saw my son and I clearing out whatever ice we were able to accumulate in our leaky liner backyard rink. We got rid of that liner and then we just had to wait for our first big snowfall so we could start building our linerless rink. Well, we got that snowfall. It came just a few days later and it snowed quite a bit. I would say there was a good 10 to 12 inches worth of snow sitting inside the frame of our backyard skating rink. And that was more than enough to begin the process. So the first thing you have to do is stamp down all that snow. So with the help of my son and my wife, we went out there and just walked around for probably an hour, an hour and a half. The next day I went out and I did it again and you can see here I'm building up the sides of the skating rink because we're going to need to create a lip all around the skating rink. And it starts with snow, everything starts with snow that you compress down but you can only do that so much without adding water to it. So I started out using the mist option on my nozzle but that that just was not providing enough water so I switched to the fan option and that seemed to do the trick you can't use too much water or you'll just wash the snow away what you want to do is make the snow moist and then keep compressing it down and you can see here the base of the rink really starts to change once you get it wet and compress it down. You can hear when I'm stepping on it that it's it's kind of a an ice crust. It's not ice yet really but it's kind of an icy snowy mixture. And so you keep adding water and before you know it you'll start to see that it is transforming into ice. And once it's ice now you can really start adding water to it. Here you can see I've just opened up the hose on it and you will see water pooling on top of the ice crust. That's what you need because essentially what you're going to do is create a pool of water that will freeze into a flat skating surface. Now here I'm doing what I call an ice integrity test where I just kick around a block of ice over the surface. And the reason I do that is I'm checking for shell ice. I'm, ch I'm checking for pockets of air that can form under the last layer of ice, especially if you add too much water at once. Now you can see here what looks to be a puddle of water is actually flat ice. That's at the deep end of the rink. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to keep adding water until that puddle, if you will, grows and grows until it eventually takes up the whole rink and I have a flat surface to skate on. It took me exactly 11 days to build this linerless ice pad, but the day it was ready, my son and his friends could not wait to get out on it. I was still putting up our boards, if you will, comprised of snow fence and then my netting in the back to catch any pucks that might go over the snow fence and, uh, and then a target that the kids can shoot on uh, without taking up valuable space on my rather tiny backyard skating rink. Now here, after that first skate, now I'm going to resurface this rather snowy, chewed up rink and I'm using my, my homemade ice resurfacer. I've made another video on exactly how to make this and I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. You see a lot of variations of this ice resurfacer out there on the internet. This is what I 
decided to come up with and what's unique about it is that it easily assembles and disassembles so that you can store it without it uh, taking up much space. Here you can see I'm turning the water on using the valve that comes at the end of my expandable hose. And that's a great way to control the water flow. But admittedly, I, I decided to take a shortcut here. I did not sweep the snow off the rink before I started, and I should have. And I can tell you, if you do that, you will end up with a very smooth ice surface. So there you go. You definitely can build a backyard skating rink without using a plastic liner. And after having done both, I know linerless is the way I'll be going from now on. Hey, if you found this video helpful, then go ahead and click that like button. Got a question? Go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss anything going forward.